Does a step-down transformer affect the audio quality? Hmm. Okay, this comes from, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try here, Guillerme, and he says, yeah, just call me William from Brazil. And, and William writes, Dear Paul, thank you very much for your awesome work. Why, thank you, sir. And now we're working from home, right? I got Terry to turn off the washer and dryer that are behind me <laughs> in the room next door. So, eh, little different set. We're, we're looking different. We're, you know, keeping our distance, uh, all that kind of good stuff. All right. Um, I live in an area where the voltage is 220 volts. Do the distribution and import issues, <laughs> i.e. I'll pay way too much money if I buy it locally. I am acquiring a 110 volt power amp. The use of a voltage regulator transformer um, that'll take the 220 down to 110 can degrade the audio quality of the power amp. So I appreciate any help that you can offer for me. Oh, look at my microphone's creeping up. See what I'm doing? I used to have a, like a lapel microphone and now you can, I'm using this uh, very cool Neumann microphone. So, all right, there she goes. Try and keep it down there. Okay, um, yeah, absolutely. You can definitely wind up degrading the sound of your power amplifier. And the thing that you want to watch out for is the size of the step-down transformer. Now, a lot of places, especially in, in 220 volt countries, sell step-down transformers. I remember in all my trips to Hong Kong and China and parts of Asia, I would go into these hi-fi stores and to these electronic supply places. And there were always step-down transformers that you could buy because they like to buy a lot of US 110 volt products. And these transformers were, I don't know, yay big or whatever. And they could handle a thousand watts, 1200 watts, but they were pretty small for the job, in, in, in my opinion. And the trick is to make sure that you have a big one. And now here's, I don't get freaked out, but I would recommend one that is 10 times the size you need, okay? Now I know that could be pretty big. So 10 times the size. I mean, I, I always like to use factors of 10. Now that's probably impractical because a 10,000 watt uh, step-down transformer ain't no big or ain't no small deal, <laughs> but you five times, four times, just make sure it's bigger than what you need by as much as you can afford. The frequency doesn't really matter whether it's 50 or 60 hertz. Most of these transformers will work at either one of those. If, if you get one that's specific to 60 hertz and you're using it at 50 hertz, you may get a little bit of a buzz. Um, oh, I hear somebody out there is running up a, a lawnmower. <laughs> These are gonna be very different videos. Um, but it, just do the best you can with big. But So the key is big is better because the bigger you can get this thing to where it's just loafing, you put your hand on top of it and it's not really, um, hot or drawing too much power, you'll be in fine shape. Uh, it, it, it'll work just fine. Now, the best thing you can do, now that that's all out of the way, if you can find somebody to change the voltage inside of your 110 unit. Now, most units from most companies have changeable voltages. They don't advertise it as such. We don't. But in fact, our products, for the most part, have multiple windings on the transformer. Now, we don't support trans shipping. We don't appreciate it when somebody buys a US unit, brings it over to Europe to try and get rid of some of the higher prices. And I'll tell you the reason why. It's not because we, we don't make any more money or any less money either way. The deal is, our distributors overseas, they got to make a living and they support the product. If something goes wrong, they're the ones paying the cost. Well, we do, but through them, we pay the costs and they pay the costs through their labor and all that to keep that thing running. And so we do want to support them, but just in all open forthright honesty, 
um, our products all have dual windings. And if you can figure out, because we ain't going to tell you, but I'll tell you right up front, you can do it. And with most products, you can do it. So if you know anything about electronics, or you know somebody that knows electronics, just have them switch the primary windings and then you don't even need one in the first place. But don't tell anybody I told you that. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take it easy. Bye.